Well, that is one drawback to the Venno in the off lane. He does shove the lane. He gets a fair bit of farm out of it. Number one on net worth right now with only one assist, but it does come at a cost. Now Ake bumps into G in the jungle. Takes a lot of damage, but they turn. Bulldog drops the rock streak, going the way of the Warlock. Well worth the long cooldown for the Chaotic offering. Now in the top lane, low to dive in the tower. Takes a three-second stun. Lil sets up the cold feet, and they might get it. Reality Rift pulls him back, and they do. Loda gets stunned, but EGM with a defensive nightmare tries to buy him some time. Loda's got his back turn. A lot of quills. One more. Might be enough, but no. He can't get it off, and all three of VP will survive on low HP. And they didn't even get the tower to... And Loda's probably happy with that. They didn't get the tower tonight, so it all worked yeah. out. And they're going to have a rotation. FNG's... He's dead. Definitely. S4. Power treads. Bracer connects with an avalanche. Tosses him in. Gets a double style points for that one. S4 sets it up, and now Silent caught in the nightmare. They're not going to be able to pursue, but Phobos out of mana, stunned by the mana leak, gets tossed back by S4 right into EGM. They've got no slow to go for the kill. Around the backside, G putting a lot of damage into Ake. We'll be able to get the kill with that Arcane Blast, or Bolt rather, but S4 cleaning up his enemies. Silent as well. No, oh, G turns it around on a tiny as well as the Bane. G, the hero of the fight, ends with a double kill as they clean up Alliance. Yeah, Alliance is not really pulling ahead by all that much, and they might have been able to get away with slightly greedier builds here, with maybe a Midas on the Warlock and more farming tools on S4, but Alliance have brought the fight to them, and they're doing pretty well, but S4 sets it up, they blow up Lil to start this fight, FNG swaps forward, and he'll die as well. It's a fast one for two, Silent, aggressive onto Ake. Now Loda, the one that takes the Mystic Flare, but he's got a Vanguard. He's got plenty of HP to deal with this. Bulldog puts out the heal, and Loda just moves into the front lines. Silent gets knocked back by a beautiful blinding light from Ake, and it's Alliance coming out big in this fight. They're going to chase down G now. He's got a little bit of a movement speed advantage. He'll make it to the high ground, but Phobos, he's going in deep. There's a Fiend's Grip available, and this should set up for another easy kill here for Alliance. That'll make it... And there were just RPs coming out left and right, and there was also Avenge, so there were swaps and stolen swaps. And man, I haven't had so much trouble following the spell steals of a, oh. of a Lil Rubik in a FNG. long time. FNG, oh god. He gets caught in the Roche pit. Nice stun, but upheaval comes out. That'll slow him down. Ice Blast, swap back onto S4. Actually gets him caught by the Ice Blast, but no way to survive there. Easy kill for the Tiny. Now Loda trying to chase down Lil as well as Phobos. He's got some more sticky goo. Puts it out on the Ancient Apparition. Old Frosty's in some trouble, but it's Phobos that gets aggressive. Puts down a Poison Nova. G and Silent coming around the backside. They actually go in on the Bulldog. Him and Ake getting low. Phobos caught by the Fiend Script from EGM, but EGM taking a lot of damage from the dots. Out from Phobos. Loda stands his ground, does huge damage in the fight. Cleans up most of VP. It's a 3 for 4 overall if you count the Venge. Playing a game of chicken right now. It's the one hero that VP don't really want to initiate on. You look at their vision. They know there are others nearby, but they can't quite find him. The same deal for Alliance. FNG out first. Swap onto Loda. Three second stun. CK to follow up. S4 finishes off the Venge right away. They're trying to focus Loda and they get him. Mystic Flare is enough to bring him down. Phobos has already deployed the ult, but it's EGM that has an ult of its own. Fiend's grip on the Venomancer. Not going to last long as Silent has the stun and the damage to find the kill. Bulldog says, hell, I'm out of here. He TPs home, leaves Ake high and dry, reality rift, a couple of auto attacks from Silent. We'll find a kill. On the backside, though, the supports from VP getting cleaned up. S4 gets a kill on the Ancient Apparition. A very spread out and chaotic fight, but let's see. Still a slow Roche for VP. No minus armor except Avenge. No medallion. Well, they will not G. be able to do this in time. Here we go. Alliance on their way in. They see FNG right away. BKB's popped by Loda and S4. They're going right for it, but VP have already made it out of the pit. Phobos isolated and brought down before he can ult. It's a quick twofer. They get the uh, coddle, but not really the biggest deal. Now they'll catch G. Oh, God, one for three. This is a disaster for Virtus Pro. Silent trying to find a kill on EGM, but Bulldog even drops the rock. They can't stop the illusions from killing the Bane. VP showing that they do have a lot of damage output, and even in a disastrous fight like that where they get engaged on, they can still pick up a couple of kills. In the game, they're not doing too much. Oh, Veil, though. They're going in on a Loda, but he just uses the BKB. Phobos has already deployed the ultimate. Blinding Light again. They mana leak him. He's got nowhere to go. They're trying to do the big damage. Ice Blast connects on the supports in the back. Ake could be the one that's in trouble. He'll go down first. S4 still alive. Finally falls, but the Aegis will bring him back up after the team fight's already lost. Bulldog with kind of a late ultimate. Gets off a big Fatal Bonds. Now that S4's up, he'll use the BKB. G uses the Ghost Scepter, but just makes the toss do more damage. Now Phobos caught by the stun. S4 trying to club him down with the right clicks, but his BKB's done. Now Silent hits him with the stun after the reality rift, and it's S4 that'll die from over committing tier three. They only get it down to about half health, and it's a flub team fight from Alliance. VP end up with most of their teams still alive. Oh no no buybacks.
Now smoke rotation from Alliance. Roche will be up in about 45 seconds. Whoever wins this fight here could potentially claim the big boy and the Aegis. He grouped up, but FNG, he moves in and breaks the smoke. They use the Fiend's Grip. They blow him up straight away. FNG dies. Now the first rock comes down. Lil goes down as well. Alliance taking a big fight here. It'll cost them EGM, but now the BKBs are used, and they're going in deep. The second set of rocks come down silent with limited options. Big damage on the S4 between him and G, but they just don't have the resources. Silent falls to an Illuminate. G finishes off the Coddle for a bit of vengeance, but gets stunned by the Mana Leak. A swarm of golems chasing him down as Lotus starts to stack up the Sticky Goo. DK watching his friend go down, tries to do what he can, hits him with a Venomous Gale, but it won't be enough. And now DK Phobos might have to pay with his life. No, Lota doesn't commit for the kill. Instead, he goes for objectives. The army of golems just start wamping away at this tier 3 tower through the back door protection. Now S4 is here with that uprooted tree. The glyph comes out. BP limited on buybacks. They'll burn two. G and Silent are back in the game and they're ready to defend. And it looks like just the sight of the buybacks will be enough for Alliance to start making a retreat. But high risk. Alliance are on the way. They're also split pushing with S4. And VP could get caught split here. Swap from FNG onto Bulldog. But he'll just blink to the other side right from where he came. Now FNG is in a lot of trouble mid lane. Oh god. Bobos, he's going to be caught with the Fiend Script and S4. He's already cleared out the range barracks. They're going to get a kill, and they're going to get another set of barracks. The rest of BP in full retreat. They've lost the AA and the Veno. No buyback available on Ancient Apparition. EGM on the low ground will die to the Skywrath Mage. Huge damage there. Now things start to get split. And S4, he's actually taking a lot of collateral damage here. G on the backside. Oh, mama. Place at the same time. They don't have the resources to defend S4 solo pushing and take, you know, a 4v5 at the Roche Pit. We'll see G die right away. Veno buys back. They're going to go for a kill on Lota, perhaps. Four seconds stun from the CK. Magic Missile to follow up, but with his back turn and the Shadow Word from Warlock, no way they're going to be able to bring him down. BKB off cooldown. They can just roll through these structures. Final stand, perhaps. Phobos blinks in. Ultimate used. BKB on, but FNG just can't take the heat from S4. He goes down first. AA's back. Ice Blast will be off the mark. Golems come down onto Silent. They might be able to grab a kill onto S4 here, but Phobos losing the duel against Lota. They do end up bringing down the Tiny, but they've lost the Tier 3 Tower and their ranged barracks. VP barely hold on. They've still got three dead. Alliance might not be done yet. They're just starting to back out and reset. They've got another Rock Bulldog drops the Refresher, and now Silent will get knocked out of the base. Another blinding light from Ake. He has been on point this entire match. My god, the AoE force staff, dude. He's making this hero look unbelievably strong. We'll see what happens in game two. These two teams, I think safe to say, looking like the top of the group. Standings right now, VP needs this win. Notice top rune. I'm talking to stream right now. Um, so AK, he, he TP to mid right here. Then he walked up all the way. Then he was sitting here as if he would place a ward. Then he walked up this way and they oh, didn't and they see him anymore. So they thought he warded there. This wow, is so that's huge sick. right now. Yeah, that's actually a waste of a century. That's a mind game. Good catch, JJ. Really impressive. Top rune spot though. Uh oh, Lota's gonna get caught. The ice shards, however, will not stop him from going even further back into his side of the river. However, the cast will bounce through. There's gonna be the avalanche coming out. They get the nether blast off. Can they get FNG? Last right click. S4 will get the first blood. Here we go. Mid rotation coming out. Ake is looking for the gank. He's got a dark troll with the ensnare and the state of torment with the shockwave. They're gonna come through avalanche. Toss is about to fly. They get the ensnare up as well. This should be a pretty easy kill. G about to just try to get away, but he can't do it. He's doing decently mid besides those deaths, yeah. Yeah, he's got level 6 now. He's actually ahead of experience oh, for S4 middle. somehow. The, yeah, the smoke into... train. Yeah, here it comes. Loda and everybody is ready to go. The call will fly. G might have stayed a little too long, but the rest of his team is coming as well. We're going to see a huge team fight. G in trouble. Nether Blast will fly. The Ensnare comes out. They decrypt him as well. He's low. They finally get off the life drain on top of that. And he somehow barely survives for like a minute, it feels like. And FNG has been caught out as well. He came at the wrong time. He's going to run behind the tower. They're going to try to converge on him and stop him from getting there he drops up the frozen sigil Lotus gonna come in with another decrypt to slow him down they have avalanche toss gets off the snowball there's gonna be the toss coming through avalanche not even gonna be needed as the nether blast goes in after the decrypt and alliance will pick up two there uh, he hasn't been level six for the longest time he just got it a little bit ago so he's got it now they might just push base they are yeah they've got Lota. they've got a huge chen army They've got some good right-click. They have S4 with toss damage as well to hit up on the tower. And speaking of toss, they blink in. That is the reveal of the blink dagger. S4 gets a dominating spree. Effigy is deleted from the game. 
They'll take the top tier two tower, but Virtus Pro, they need to defend this base. The tier three is about to fall already. They get the glyph off. There's going to be the void on the S4. Calls up on EGM. They'll, they'll try to bring him to the base, but EGM's not going to go very far. There's going to be the darkness popped as well. The ice shards will fly through. This melee rack's in trouble. The Virtus Pro looking for a defense here. They even get off the call coming through, but they miss it. They all back away. And now the toss avalanche in. They'll find the kill on the FNG again. Death will fly. G's about to go down. He's so low. Elias is pushing base in 13 minutes, and they're being successful at it. They might back up and get ready to go again. They've got another another blast, but they don't have the mana for it for another 10 seconds or so. Meanwhile, though, they still have all these chip creeps going to work. Both of our axes are very low. They're about to lose the spirit bear as well. And Alliance might decide to back here momentarily. They still have the rock, though. That's why, like, a VP knows, like, how has he not used the rock yet? We can't go in. Bulldog's about to drop it, but he gets the call off instead. Now this is void up, but they still haven't taken down Bulldog. There's the rock coming out in G. Tossed up, upheaval down. Rax is gone, and S4 is going to try to get out now. And they've gotten everything. The void will come through. Hand of God's going to fly. They haven't sent him back yet. He's just going to toss back, and they actually get the kill on the FNG with the golem again. Just causing havoc in the back lines. The Burnish Pro have only gotten three kills this game, and it looks like that's all they might get. They're going to try to chase down a couple of heroes here, but another blink in, toss the avalanche combo. Everybody's low. Silent gets life drained to death. G will be next. The right click from the goal will do the job, and Bulldog will get a double kill. DK Fomos getting chased down. There's the nether pass. Loda picks up a double kill for himself as well. Three dead for Burnish Pro. They have buyback on Silent, but... That is a full set of racks gone. And if they didn't have that tier 2 mid, they would have taken another set of racks, almost certainly. But they I don't know if they could really find anything off this Radiance, Grant. Yeah, they are... They, they've lost two racks already by 14 minutes. They're about to lose a second by 17. And the range oh. just doesn't do enough. Especially that bear dies really quick if it's decrapped. Yeah, they have to come in. There's going to be the avalanche going again. The toss, they won't get the combo off. But they'll do a lot of damage to FNG. The cast will fly through as well. The death ward comes out. They'll find the kill. They get the Savage Roar away, but the melee rack's about to fall. Two more right clicks should do the job. The Nether Blast instead will be the one to pick it up, and Loda will back up now. No, they won't. S4 keeps going. There's the Soul Assumption. They even have Minus Armor on it, but they just can't bring it down. The call will miss. Egypt is the one that's going to get brought in. They get off the Familiar Suns. S4 will take up a Soul Assumption. He's got the Ages. Avalanche will go. It will miss, but it does the job of zoning everybody out, and his second Rax is now gone, and VP are hanging out by a thread in this game, and that's... That's about it. It's maybe even less than a threat, considering how this game is going for Alliance. Dear God. Yeah, Alliance is going to look right in. They have great vision. They're going to find Lil and just bring him down almost instantly. Toss Avalanche onto two. Beautifully done. The Death Ward will fall. The Nether Blast gets Lil a double kill. That was a stylish play coming out from Alliance. He cannot really do much. S4 now with the Hyperstone still has that Aegis to toss onto the tower. It's getting taken down pretty quickly. The Bear's trying to push this up with the Familiar. As the Chen Creeps are going to town, they get off the Veil. The Snowball all the way in. FNG has been caught out. G is looking for a Blinket as well. But here comes the Golem, the Upheaval, the Nether Blast, the Life Drain, and everything going on to those two heroes. They've already lost three. Bulldog will get a double kill. Looks like the GG will be called an Alliance. We've said it before. We'll say it again. They're back. Man, they are more than back there, and they're looking like the top team right now. They, they've even looked a little better than EG, Secret, top Chinese teams.